What's up, YouTube? My name is Diamond Dimer. Welcome to episode number four of the Survival Let's Play. In case you missed it last episode, I built up this amazing garden. And right next to it is this lovely little chicken coop. And there's the chickens back there. I can't wait to get into this one. I have a few things planned. So if you're enjoying the series so far, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and let's get on into the video. Okay, the number one thing in this video I want to get done is to make an iron farm because I'm going to need as much iron as possible and everybody knows how annoying it is to get. The farms have gotten super easy to make now. There is all kinds of wonderful tutorials right here on YouTube that you can follow. All right, I'm just breeding up the cows now. And last one, someone's hungry, I know they are. There we go. We are getting an enormous amount of cows now. Already harvested up the sugar cane and we're doing pretty darn good on that. But pretty soon I will be able to make an enchantment table. It's all of the bookshelves needed, as you can see. But I'm only level 20, so I can wait on that until at least level 30. Okay, I think I killed a bunch of sheep. Yeah, there we go. 12 cooked mutton. I'm going to take that with me, and I'm going to head out and do some exploring. I'm bringing a bed because there's not much daylight left. I've already explored in that direction. That's where the village is, and that's where I'm going to be making the iron farm is right down there because I already brought over some villagers for this farm. So what I'm gonna do is explore in a different direction. I'll probably walk towards the sun for a while and just see what I can find. If there's anything cool we can stumble upon. Ooh, a little cove. I can't wait to get some potions for water breathing, and things like that. Night vision. Ooh, a dog. I wish I had some bones. There's a couple of wolves. There's like three of them. Is that another one? Just a pack of wolves. Anyways, looks like the sun is going down over here. There's a lot of happy animals sheep pigs and look at these horses man they look sweet they're just enjoying their little evening over here i'm gonna sleep the night away seeing these bees really make me want to start getting into beekeeping in the game of course i'm not trying to get stung in real life but i'm still heading in the same direction whoa look at that nothing super interesting just yet i'm gonna get in the water though travel by boat I'm getting close to being able to make some diamond weapons. I think by the time we get to level 30, I'm going to be able to enchant. But in the meantime, I just want to do some exploring, see what's around us. See if I can find a desert or any other cool biome like jungles. And also get stocked up on a ton of stones and wood. That's something I'm going to be getting done when I get back from exploring. Whoa. Okay, that is deep. Let's walk around this it's great that i'm seeing all of these planes but i'm hoping to find something a little bit more interesting holy cannoli i see some iron coal and a huge ravine hey another swamp Ooh, free coal can't pass up on this Ooh, there's some more down here I guess I'm gonna try to go around this swamp. Ooh, dark oak. Let's check that out. Look at the trees up there. That looks like a savanna? Maybe not. Wait, no, that's definitely savanna trees, which means there's gotta be a desert close by. Wow, look at all that terrain. I'm gonna have to check out that cave eventually. I'm gonna go ahead and collect some dark oak while I'm here. There's some big trees. One tree and I almost got a complete stack of dark oak logs. I'm gonna try to get one more. Okay, it's gotten dark on me. So I'm gonna make some torches, put a bed down and sleep the night away. And I'm gonna take this sapling with me. It looks awfully sandy over here. I'm gonna take a look before going around that way. Nope, there's a forest behind there. It's like a bunch of birch and dark oak. So we're driving this way. I'm gonna check out this little cave first because look how insane this looks. I mean, come on. Holy cow. Are there any monsters? I hope not. Wow, this is super cool. I'm glad I got to see that. Now, let's try to find a desert. There's more acacia trees. There's also a ton of birch and then a swamp on that side. Look at all those squid. Ew, whoa, that looks like a pillager outpost. Don't know if I'm ready for that. I'm in the market for finding a desert or a village, something like that. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a lot more exploring. I'm gonna bring you back if I find anything interesting before heading home. Good morning, Mr. Turtle. Okay, I need to get to work because there's a full freaking ship over there. It looks like ooh, a dolphin. Anyways, there's another ship right over there, it looks like. And I passed one coming down here. It's right in there. I'm going to pick up my bed, grab my boat, and we're going to check these things out. 
starting with this one back here. So this one appears to be in pretty good condition as well. Let's check it out. I gotta be quick. Oh, there's a little air pocket. Sweet. Buried treasure. Okay. And some feathers. What about this one back here? Holy cow. We got some enchanted armor. Pumpkins. I need to take a breather. I just heard a dolphin. Anyways, what else do we got? Gunpowder. I don't really need the crops, but I'll take the paper. And the suspicious stew. Okay. It's taking damage, but I'm good. Is that a dolphin? It is. I wonder if he's pointing at the treasure. I don't know, but he's so cool. Let me get a little bit more air. He swam all the way in here. I'm out. I'm out. Pretty sure they only have two chests. At least that's what I'm hoping. Okay, I'm going to check out the next one now. Hopefully this one's got something a little bit better. Where's the air? There we go. I found the door. That's exactly what I needed. <gasps> oh my gosh. I've never... I don't know what to do with these. Coast armor trim. Smithing template. Applies to armor. Ingredients. Ingots and crystals. And I got two of them. Holy cow. That was a great find. And another buried treasure map. Okay, let's check out this one. Well, this one was a dud. I mean, I'm hoping there's not more. I think there's only two chests. Okay, so that was a good find. Really good find. But there's one more boat to check out. Let's see if I can embark. It's right down here. It appears to be upside down. Is there any chest in here? There we go, two more. That's what I'm talking about. And I'm drowning. Get up. That gives me four now. I mean, that should be enough to do a complete set of armor. But again, I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to these things. So I'm just hoping. Can I get down there? Not from here. Probably gonna have to try to go around. The back side over here. Is there a way in? This tiny little hole? Cannot get in through there. Looks like I'm gonna break a block. That should get me in. I need some air though. All right, let's see what's in here. Dang, look at all that iron. I had to leave the pumpkins. Take the emeralds. Drowning. Okay, I'm gonna have to get to the shoreline and make a boat with a chest because I've run out of room. Ooh, it looks like I'm right next to the buried treasure, by the way. All right, looks like I'll have to check that out in a second. Get the crafting table out, make a chest, and there we go. Let's throw all this in here. Okay, with all that in storage, let me see if I can find this buried treasure. I have to go around the other side of this little island here, right in here. It's gotta be in here somewhere. I need a new shovel. Look, we got some iron. Gotta sleep the night away. Okay, it should be in here somewhere. There it is oh my goodness how is there so much booty in here oh i'm drowning it gave me a diamond more emeralds gold and then heart of the sea i don't even know what to do with heart of the sea this one is done but where's this one at it's going to be further inland on the island let's go check it out yeah i'm gonna have to go and take the boat around the other side of the island I'm gonna finish looting these treasure chests if I can find them, and then I'm gonna return home. This has already been one heck of a trip. Okay, I'm back and my goodies chest is looking better than ever. And check this out, potion of water breathing. I actually found two of those in one of those treasure chests. Ended up with three heart of the seas, a ton of iron, even found some prismarine crystals. And look at that, 17 emeralds, 18 gold, and now I'm up to 12 diamonds. And now that I'm back on the base, I actually wanna do some building, but before I do that, I need to finish up the iron farm. But before that, I actually wanted to try out this water breathing potion. So I'm going to this sinkhole looking thing in the water here to give this a shot. It's supposed to last three minutes. As you can see, I'm not drowning. So yeah, this is sweet. I finally get to check out what's down here. Get to do some swimming. I'll just have to remember my way out so I don't get stuck down here when this potion runs out. I'm hearing a zombie. Man, this is so cool. There's pretty much nothing down there though, at the bottom of this thing. Let's check out on this side. What is this? This block looks weird. Looks like copper. 
I don't know. All right, I've definitely seen enough to know that I'm gonna need to brew up some of these things. For now, I'm gonna go over here to this iron farm setup that, I'm, that I've got going. I need to show you that I did get these three villagers in boats. I'm gonna need one more boat though and since this is not my design on this farm I'm gonna get it started on camera but then I'm gonna finish it off camera I'm gonna leave a link to the tutorial that I'm following in the description there's a few items I'm gonna to need to make the farm so I'm gonna go return home things like some hoppers chests definitely a few beds um I think I'm gonna to have to get a bucket of lava definitely for the kill chamber maybe some trap doors and some slabs yeah I got the stone I got the slabs hoppers I got some buckets I need to get water and lava I'm gonna need some trap doors perfect I've got torches I need to make another couple of chests just like that I'll need another boat for the zombie all right I gotta find some lava and make some beds and then I'll be back over at the farm okay I think I need to take this seven by six square down by one more and since this is not my design I'm not gonna take you through and walk you step by step through this tutorial but there will be a link in the description okay i think i need to break 12 blocks in this direction i hope this is right and i think i'm supposed to go back in here and place my beds just like this okay and i think that allows me to walk out i think i'm definitely going to want to light this up place torches here and that should prevent anything from spawning i think this boat goes right in the middle just like that first of all let me push this back a little bit I'm gonna need to break this and then place a trap door here and here. And I don't want anything spawning, so I'm spamming the torches. Now I need to wait for night, bring my villagers over here, so that way when it gets dark, they'll jump into their beds. So I should probably already get these guys over here. Let's start with one. But I don't want this video getting too long, so I'm gonna speed this up, make some progress, and bring you guys back. Okay guys, I just finished making this farm. I'm really hoping that it's gonna work. I have one last thing to do. And that's to get a zombie to walk down there. Okay, I forgot to close this door. There we go. Now they shouldn't be able to get out. And I'm going to place a boat down in the middle here. I need to get out of here. It is raining, which sucks. Now I need to get a zombie to enter this farm through these trap doors. So give me a second to find one. Okay, I got two of them for the price of one, three. All right, I got one on the line. I, I got to get this over with quick. Okay, walk through there. Walk through there. Hopefully he walked into the boat. Nope, not yet. Please go down to the boat. There we go. You can see it's working. He must have found his way into the boat. Our first iron golem has already spawned. Okay. I did not know if that was going to work. Now I should probably replace these trap doors with dirt blocks. That way I could turn them into pathways. Now I'm just going to go around placing a bunch of torches to make this even safer surrounding the farm. And look at that. I already got eight iron ingots. There we go. Another one just spawned. I cannot believe it, but this farm is actually working. It was so simple to build. So simple, in fact, that I honestly did not believe that it was going to work. But it is. It's working. So now all I need to do is go AFK, let this thing do its thing for a while. So I'm going to take my bed. I'm going to go back home. And I'm going to work around the base for the end of the episode. I'm so happy I got this done. Okay, let's check one last time before I leave. There's 12 iron ingots there's actually one more dying so let's check it out after he goes down just to see how much iron i got in the little time i was here 15 iron ingots not bad not bad like i said i'm gonna let that do its thing because i got some plans for the end of the episode around the base Ooh, some bones skeletons died over here and as you can see from here i planted a ton of spruce trees i'm gonna have to take some of those down i'm gonna farm up some oak trees as well because i want to build some custom trees i want to build maybe three of them just around the base around the little homestead that i'm building because i think it'll elevate it to the next level around here and eventually i'm gonna have to build a bridge from there to there and maybe even one back there overall i'm loving the progress in this world and i'm loving the area i'm gonna get to work farming up some more logs okay i just got done cutting up some wood and getting some leaves i'm about ready to start on these trees honestly i don't know what type of trees i'm actually going for but I want to start over here since it's really plain. I want there to be a custom tree right over here. Start with some granite walls. Dang it, I'm going to need some... I'm going to have to grab some dirt. That way I can climb up here. Because these are trees, so they're going to have to be a little tall. Now I'm going to need to add in leaves. I don't really know how I want this tree to look. 
So I'm just gonna throw these on here, see what I can come up with. Okay, the walls coming off of this thing are too thick. So I wanna keep those to a minimum. And I definitely need to get to the top of this thing. I'm gonna climb up here on some dirt. The last touch is on this tree. Okay, and I think this tree is done. Again, I'm not sure what type of tree this is, but I like it. I think it's gonna serve its purpose. I'm gonna make some more. I think if I added enough of these, and maybe even a couple different types of trees this place will start looking really good i'm gonna add another one right here so what i'm gonna do is throw this thing into replay mode and i'm gonna get to work on decorating Okay, I got three different trees done. There's the first and second, and then I placed one right over here. I'm liking them. I think I might add a couple more. Maybe one over here, and then on that side of the chicken coop as well. But probably just a couple more. And then eventually I am gonna make a weeping willow. That is my favorite tree, and I'm going to have to build one at some point or another. Now I've been breeding up the chickens, so there should be a little bit more now. I can't wait until this entire yard is just filled up with chickens. There is one last thing I need to do. I'm going to place some coarse dirt around these trees and underneath them. I like the way this looks. Whoa, I forgot about covering this up. I'm gonna have to add some torches. Keep monsters from spawning under here and underneath the last tree as well. Okay, I think that looks amazing. Okay, I'm back at the farm. I'm gonna find a spot to AFK because I don't think the farm's going to work if I'm over at the base. So I think after the episodes are done recording, I'm probably going to AFK for about an hour and let this thing build me up some iron. But unfortunately, that is going to do it for this one, guys. I'm all out of time. I had a ton of fun making this episode. I started out by finding a ton of treasure, honestly. It was so cool finding those potions of water breathing and getting to check that out. And now I have an iron farm. It's not the best and or most efficient, but it's going to help me get started. And I'm thankful for it. So if you've been enjoying the series, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here and want to keep following along the series, Go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future Minecraft videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Diamond Dimer and I am signing off.